So today I'm going to look at the um, accessibility um, options in Windows 10, which, um, yeah, it's, win it's Windows. I'm not a, I use Windows, but I'm not a great fan of Windows. I much prefer my OS and iOS um, side of things, but nevertheless, um, certainly Windows has um, put a lot of time and energy into the accessibility options. Now, if you're looking for them, they're not called accessibility options in Windows because Windows has to be different. Um, they've gateized them, if you like, and it's called um, ease of access. So it still means the same sort of thing, but uh, the um, just a, a different um, term. So I'm going to try sharing my screen now and uh, not really quite sure where I've got these things. Um, so how I got here, simply the start menu and the settings, and there it is there. And just back one, you'll see ease of access. And this is the um, place to go for a start where you might want to access some accommodations that you need to make um, in, in the operating system. Remember these, these are operating system um, changes that allow for all um, programs that um, conform to the uh, standards of the, of the operating system. Now narrator is very much like um, uh, text to speech. Um, and you have a choice there, you can turn it on um, and just simply by clicking and it, it works really well. Yeah, so you can, can hear that I hope, um, I can. <laughs> um, so um, that just gives us um, so I can, yeah, and I can change the voices um, to some determined voices in there, and I can change the speed and the pitch and um, intonation pauses as well, um, and then the, the other bits and pieces in there. So you can go down and do all of those um, bits and pieces. So that's the narrator, which is the uh, similar in the Mac o, um, OS and iOS. Uh, we can actually get it to read the screen um, to you. Now there are some other um, products that are really quite useful for that. Um, and one is Browse Aloud. Now, um, Rihanan was showing us the um, read and write um, options, which are by Text Help um, in Ireland, uh, out of Ireland. Um, and Text Help um, also produced Browse Aloud, which is um, an extension that goes on to the um, browser and then is a screen reader as well. And it's a very uh, useful thing for surfing the web and, and uh, working um, like that. And of course, that of course is um, across the different um, systems. There's the magnifier, the screen magnifier. Once again, you can um, enlarge the, um, uh, the screen and it will um, just enlarge a small section of the screen. Um, and, and work through um, those sorts of things. Um, you can change the, there we are, I've got it tracking to my mouse and the window, um, I can go over those things and enlarge it. So once again, those are similar things that are in the other operating systems as well. Closed captions is limited in Word, uh, sorry, not in Word, in, in um, Microsoft in that it only um, works with um, material that's in the Windows um, live media player. And um, so it's not quite such a universal uh, uh, function as well. Um, the keyboard, you can have the keyboard and uh, those sorts of things. Um, but the, the probably one of the most useful things is sticky keys. Uh, if you've got someone who's accessing the keyboard with a, um, a point, then you can have sticky keys where they can hit one key and it holds that key for multiple key strokes. And then you can go and push the key and then of course it will activate the, um, that sequence uh, together. So, so there are lots of different functions um, uh, there as well. Also for those that require a higher contrast, remember colours on colours aren't always as clear as some of them think that they are. Um, 
And uh, so the contrast, the color contrast is important. And we can actually just go through here and use our um, higher contrast colors. Um, it's just apply. And it's just going to have a wee think about. Um, and you can see that now my screen has changed to um, something, you know, quite, um, quite different looking. So I'll just change it back. Otherwise, I'll never find anything. Um, and we apply it again. But it's possible to change the colors so you get the maximum contrast that allows the user to actually um, better read. Um, um, one of the things that I do tend to use when I'm using Windows is um, I like to make the mouse um, pointer bigger and I also like to make the, um, the cursor um, a little bigger as well so I can actually track it on a screen, particularly using um, extended desktop on a, on a different screen. So um, once again, there's pointer sizes here. Now there's also some options that you can go into and um, alter those mouse settings as well. Um, so those are those um, some pieces there. Now that's that's just your standard off the off the rack, if you like, Windows, and you can change those. One of the things that um, was um, interesting as we were busy talking is text to speech. And one of the most useful things I've found, and it's a, unfortunately it's not a, um, a freebie, but um, for Windows is the text allowed um, text to speech engine. And that's a particularly useful one because it just allows you so much um, customization of things. Now they also produce it in an iOS for um, iPhone. And so it does um, work there, but it's made for OS for the for the Mac at the moment. Um, but this is a, a very useful one um, because it uses the um, a cappella voices, the nuance voices, and of course your AT and T natural voices as well. And you can mix mix your voices and you can get a really pleasant um, sounding voice from that. Um, so that's from going from text out to um, speech output. It also allows you to write the um, chunks of text um, into MP3 files so that you can then place them on an MP3 um, playback system, uh, maybe in your car audio and, uh, and listen to it up there. So just as um, folks were busy um, looking at the um, OS and iOS and also um, the Chrome, this, um, this, this uh, you know, is, a, is another option um, all told. So accessibility is about the user. The user customizes things to make it work for them. And I think that's an important um, aspect. It's not about the machine, it's about what the user can actually have, how they can have things delivered to them to make it more functional for them. And then certainly fits in the uh, universal design for learning um, principles as such. So that's just a very quick run over on uh, the Windows um, aspects. There's some other really good um, information on the uh, inclusive learning network, um, yeah, inclusive learning network blog and web page. Um, yeah, previously, people have done things like close captioning um, and uh, other aspects as well. And of course, there'll be um, uh, Rihanna's um, material there as well, as well as um, uh, Louise as well. So um, that's just a, a very quick rundown. Um, appreciate we've got time, time constraints. Um, and uh, certainly, um, I'll just stop sharing there now. And then we can open it up for questions because there may be some more questions than um, other things as such. Thank you.